Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today we're going to talk about Coupang, which is a hot e-commerce Korean company that is IPO in this week. And you have no idea why we're in it so small on the whiteboard today, but hey, we'll go with it. Now, if you do want to buy this IPO, there's a link to a Freedom24 account in the description. You join through there, you can participate in the IPO at IPO prices rather than relying on something like a trading tool two that will probably put the uh, IPO on six hours too late and the price will probably have gone up by then. So uh, yeah, I think this could be a really good one. Um, I think like the last ones we talked about, I think Airbnb was one we talked about, uh, talked about and that went up a crazy amount since that IPO. And the other one was Affirm and uh, Affirm as well was another hot IPO, uh, which went up absolutely huge. Um, and I think this one as well, has a lot of potential going forward and uh, at the end of the video I'll kind of talk about what I, my game plan is with this IPO. But yeah, uh, we'll get stuck into Coupon and uh, some of the positives with this company. If you could smash the like button, 300 likes is the target. So these guys are an e-commerce play in uh, Korea and they are mainly focused in Korea. And the best, I hate, I hate using this saying, but um, <laughs> the best way to describe it is like, it is the Amazon of Korea. I know that's such a cliche thing on YouTube to say, but I can't think of any other way to say it. Maybe the Alibaba of China, uh, Korea, I guess. Um, I don't know. But yeah, that's basically gives you an idea. You know, they're an e-commerce play uh, in Korea. And they should be IPO, IPO in, uh, on the 10th of March. Um, if you do want to do the IPO through Freedom24, you have to be in it by tomorrow though. So I thought I'd just let you know. Now with e-commerce plays, I love an e-commerce play. Uh, you know, obviously I own Amazon and one of my best ever uh, performing stocks, which is JD.com, which I'm up uh, over 400% on. That's uh, obviously an e-commerce play in China that I've had a lot of success from. But that near an IPO price where it slumped down and uh, yeah, that's been one of my best performers. So this is an industry I do like to get involved in. So this company was founded in 2010 and the model it kind of went with at that point of view was more of a Groupon. I always think uh, Coupon and Groupon, I guess they're kind of sim sim similar, but they went for more like a Groupon model and then they eventually changed it and uh, went for more of an Amazon e-commerce kind of play. Uh, and yeah, it's been, it's a very uh, competitive market. Amazon are currently not in South Korea and these guys only operate in South Korea, which maybe might be something to maybe be a bit of a negative that they only operate in one country. Um, you know, maybe there's not much expansion there, but still these guys are pretty dominant in um, South Korea. So uh, these guys decided to go down the road of being a bit more of an Amazon model and uh, they are the number one player here. The market share previously was very close, but they have uh, redeveloped their delivery service, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But I guess obviously first thing, to do a coupon they're in a massive growing industry the e-commerce side of it is is a huge growing platform even in south korea uh, and amazon aren't in this uh, space they are not currently in south korea they do have an investment in another e-commerce play uh, so i'll say that but um yeah coupon are currently the number one players in this uh, industry in south korea now it was the market share was a lot closer until coupon have started to take the lead off over the last few years and now become the most preferred platform to shop from online um, what they decided to do is they decided to set up their own logistics delivery service. So what they were able to do is basically um, you buy something, it gets delivered in the same day basically. Uh, and as well as that, they also do a service where if you actually order before midnight, you'll have it on your doorstep at 7 a.m. when you wake up, uh, which is a pretty cool service. So they have spent a lot in their logistics service to make it a lot faster service. And uh, yeah, I mean, it obviously has cost them a lot of money. It's one of the reasons why they're not profitable, but I really like how they've kind of gone, right, we really need to dominate this market. We need to keep customers, uh, you know, with us and not go to any other players. You know, it's a very close battle at the moment. What's the next step up? Right, let's develop a delivery service that everyone loves and that we come the number one platform because then, then them customers are gonna stay, stay with us and keep reordering from us. So Coupon, from that point of view, have done the correct thing, you know. Sure, it, it hurt them on the, short term or you know with the it putting a lot of money in to build a logistics network but now it's paying off with them because they're taking more market share more and more people use the platform and they'll continue to order from them and the super quick delivery service is something very special as well uh, it's definitely worth looking into what they've done there and that's kind of given given them the leg up to take a lot of the um the market share in this sort of industry so coupon have really set, stepped up to be the number one player in the e-commerce space through the delivery side of it and being able to deliver so quick and having that e-commerce play. So first of all, a massive great e-commerce play in Korea. I guess the only little negative you could say is that, you know, you are only buying a company that is so far in South Korea, I guess. Uh, but 
the thing is with the industry they're in it's still a, a, a massive growing industry and they are now stepping a little bit more outside of just being an e-commerce play they are now starting to develop their own private labels which you would think would give them better markup on the products they're also moving into coupon eats or uber eats i guess um so that's another industry they're moving into which is a really big growing industry um, and coupon could do this because in south korea a lot of people live in a city uh, which means they're quite near logistics centers as well there's a high uh, usage of mobile phones as well in south korea which means there's a big market to go for so as well as having a coupon eats they're also moving into a video streaming side of the company uh, which is called coupon play which was launched in 2020 it was also launching a media company which is uh, coupon media and also it's moving into the payment industry which is coupon pay as well so it is starting to cover rather than just being kind of in the e-commerce side of it which obviously is a little bit limited it's starting to dominate a lot of south korea now uh, with the e-commerce improving margins and also moving into other industries so it's still developing which is really good um so yeah from that point of it the income streams as well are getting very diverse now like in amazon like in alibaba uh, Alibaba which is really good as well so you can see sure they're a little bit limited by only being in South Korea but the diverse revenue that is starting to come in from this company is very good now let's look at some of the company's financial side of it so the company is expected to be somewhere around the valuation of about a 51 billion valuation the company is currently putting in about a 12 billion revenue which is pretty good and also that revenue last year grew around about 90 percent which is very good revenue growth now obviously the uh, CV situation would have helped the growth in last year but that's still very good growth and even previous years like previous years growth have been like 50 60 percent revenue growth so yeah sure you know you might say that okay it's not going to do 90 percent revenue growth every year which was brilliant you know let's not forget that but the other thing as well is like normally it still grows in at a good 50 percent 60 percent revenue growth rate which is still very healthy and is a lot faster than your other kind of platforms like maybe an amazon and alibaba so the growth is really fantastic valuation wise that kind of means that it's actually not too bad of a valuation i guess uh trading around about a ps ratio of about five and um, when you compare that to a lot of other e-commerce plays it's pretty fairly valued compared to them and let's not forget these guys are, are growing very quick as well you know compared to the other ones they're growing a lot quicker so from a valuation point of view like the company's not fair not too bad valued really i think for a for an ipo that has this much growth as well and especially with how diverse revenue they're starting to build up um, as well in the company which i think is absolutely fantastic now i guess the other two red flags that do come in this one is obviously it i mean we said previously it is limited to korea at the moment i don't know how much more expansion it will be able to have worldwide if it wanted to go down there i guess you've also got to take the political risk as well is that obviously we've got uh, north korea just ab above them um you know we never you know never know what might go on there you might you might take it as a risk you might you know not be too bothered by it um but i guess the big thing that obviously is a bit of a negative is that it is currently not making money obviously when we look into the company it is I don't mind how it's losing money because obviously it's put so much money into developing its delivery system which has led to more market share which leads to more repeat customers which is I think is always the you know Amazon did it and um, Tesla's done it you know that kind of strategy of you know let's put more and more money in to expand the company take more market share and that will benefit you in the longer term so yeah I think the delivery service was a game changer because it, that's what gave them a, a bigger market share in, in this sort of industry so from the profit side of view, I'm quite happy that, you know, I think they made the right decision. Uh, the, by the way, the CEO as well, I think he's a pretty good CEO as well. Uh, so I think the decision to put a lot of money into expand the company is absolutely fine. Uh, but obviously, you know, it, it is impossible and hopefully it can get to some profit at some point soon. Uh, but yeah, that's I guess that's only one little negative that goes with the company right there. So overall, I'm a fan of the industry it's in. I love how they're diverse in the revenue streams. Sure, I think they're a little bit more limited to say an Amazon or an Alibaba with you know the country that they're in and being a bit of a smaller country. Um, but I do like how much they're developing. And let's not forget, you know, 90% revenue growth. And even if we take out CV numbers, normally it's a good revenue growth sort of company. Um, yeah, this this is an interesting IPO to me. I probably won't get involved with the IPO, but I will see how it goes on the day, and I will see maybe through lockup period what will happen, 
And yeah, I think at this valuation, I think the valuation is pretty good. I feel like it should probably be a little bit of a higher valuation. Um, so I do feel like it's a little bit undervalued. So I do really like this one. I will track it. I will see what happens with the IPO. And uh, yeah, it could be, it's one that's definitely going on my watch list. And I would say it's, don't be too surprised if it stays around this valuation or even goes lower in the coming few months. This will be one that I probably will look to pick up because uh, I like what they're doing. So overall, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, update on an IPO that's coming. Some a little bit different. I like touching on a few IPOs every so often. So uh, yeah, it uh, looks like there could be a few other good ones as well this year. So uh, we'll see if there's any other good ones that come up and I might cover them as well. But um, I know, especially you guys on the Discord as well, I've seen a few people asking about this one as well. So hope that was a bit uh, useful for you guys. So yeah, I do like this one. Uh, and like I say, if you could smash the like button, uh, 300, subscribe, uh, 300 likes would be amazing. But if you are new, subscribe as well. Well, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.